to shout out the person who who did it. Okay, so um, thank you, thank you. I know y'all see the new graphics. You know, what I'm saying? I love it. I was just so excited to announce. Okay, but we had to wait. We had to do some couple things before we roll out everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, so <clears throat> I'm just excited. It's like I can't really get this far. All right, so uh, but I do want to shout out real quick. Okay, uh, Brian Zuckerman. All right. His name is Brian Zuckerman. You can find him at brianzuckerman.com. He was the one that oversaw my entire graphic design vision. It didn't take him long, even though we was I was months trying to figure out what I wanted to do and what color scheme I wanted, you know, a new logo. Because I've never done anything like this. Everything that we did, you know, we kind of did in-house and stuff. And so for him to come on board and donate his services, it was just absolutely amazing. Like, everybody's in the giving season, you know? Just everybody just want to love on me. Like, I don't know why. Like, why everybody just want to love on me? So shout out to... Uh, Brian Zuckerman at brianzuckerman.com, okay? I've known him for years. Um, very, 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 very good friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, like I said, he he did his thing, didn't he? Let me see what they talk about in the comments real quick, okay? Y'all ready for the 5.30 p.m. show? I'm sure I was late. We had to do a, we had to do a sound check because, you know, y'all be complaining about the sound and stuff, so we always run it before we start live now, okay? You said shout out to the Bank of Africa. I am so done with you. I cannot do this shit, y'all. Why am I? I'm going to start reading y'all comments, okay? Daddy in the back over there. He right there behind me, you know what I'm saying? He right there, right there, okay? Full show for y'all today, all right? Uh, we're definitely going to be discussing uh, this Wendy Williams uh, situation, okay? Also going to be discussing Masika, okay, giving away her her, her panties online, okay? Uh, Tyler James, we're going to be discussing Tyler James. And then Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Houghton, okay, uh, did his baby mama. She said enough is enough who else we got jasmine let me see make sure we uh we got everything okay yeah um i only see four stories there it's supposed to be five it's five okay oh yeah okay now you guys know that we do do two shows okay so we do a very censored version everywhere else okay everywhere that we're streaming shout out to everywhere that we're streaming okay um you know we try to omit a lot of you know cuss words and things like that even though i went hard on friday they said get somebody else to do it okay i'm trying to avoid those problems all right i'm on the, I'm on the radar okay trying to keep look coins i do got now uh so we don't we try not to go too hard over here and we try to say that for tashaklive.com okay well we we just we go in all right get personal over there all right. Now, um, uh, and so, yes, we will be heading over right after this show at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be discussing uh, Derek. You said Derek Warner, right, from Love After Laka um, and his new job. OK. Also going to be discussing uh, the, the bishop. OK. Is it a bishop that that's out here uh, going in hotel rooms? He married. Uh, uh, it's a pastor and a bishop. Okay, they're going to hotel rooms with the praise team director. She married, he married, they both married, everybody married. But they instead of sleeping at their house, they want to sleep at with each other at hotel room. Okay. So we got a special guest that's gonna be giving us that exclusive um on TashaKlive.com at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you make sure that you are tuned in. Okay. And so listen, before we get into what we're gonna be discussing here, y'all, please make sure y'all like this video, share this video. Subscribe if you're new here. If you are watching and you want to comment, everybody can comment as long as you are subscribing, okay? That's all we ask, all right? You can say what you want to say within reason, okay? All right? As long as it don't get, you know, out of line. We don't block, okay? But still, be respectful, all right? We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass, too. We will be right uh, back after the break, let's get it. Alicia One, you are or were the general manager at Bar One Miami. That's correct. Okay, so that means you saw all the books. Yeah. So everybody was tagging me in your post. You have been dragging Peter over him stealing his staff's money. It's been rumored for quite some time that that restaurant Bar One was not doing too well. Bar One has always struggled with financial issues. Okay. 
not just bar one, bar one in Miami, bar one in Baltimore, every business that Peter has opened, they have had issues with not paying people. I have been a hospitality for almost 20 something years. I have worked in all with all kinds of companies and businesses. I've done task force, I've done everything. I can count the people in the room and tell you how much money that we're gonna make that night. I saw you in the restaurant you were on the patio, somebody was behind you with a video, and you were telling the customers, you said all these people, like this food that you're eating is being prepared by people who haven't been paid. For, but guess why there's still people stand, still people there because they're three weeks in the hole. They work three weeks in the hole, so they don't have any money, so they don't have any resources to get anywhere else. And he just hands them a couple hundred dollars here and there so they can survive. It's he enslaves his own people. This is ridiculous. Do you know I have three homeless people because they haven't been paid? They're working three weeks in the hole. There's a picture of it. I let him sleep in the restaurant. Do you know what he told me? What did he say? You want to be a f and social worker, not a manager. He he hadn't paid his VP in 90 days. He hadn't paid Miss Rhonda and Shatera in months. They were getting ready to get evicted out of their home, their apartment, and nobody says anything. Do you know they're texting me talking about, have you talked to Peter? Do you know if he's gonna pay us? The question is why? He's done it all his life Cynthia, since Cynthia Bailey. He married her, took all her money, and then what happened to their relationship? He did the same thing. He took her money and invested in restaurants. Nobody ever seen a dime. People that have messed with him from Housewives of Atlanta, he's done the same thing too. Now this is a long ass receipt. Seven thousand dollars that was transferred into Michael, my bartender's name, and then nobody act like they knew nothing about it. Then finally, when I pushed the issue, they were like, "Oh, it's Hannah's." Guess what she cashed it out as? Cash, as if the restaurant made that money. Well, what happened with the cash tips? Candy was talking about the cash tips. She, they make them turn them in and their service charge money on if if a customer pays in cash, a thousand dollars. And perfect example, Mayweather. Okay. Came in there, paid his tab. Tab was seventeen hundred dollars. Paid his tab in cash. The service charge on the check is about four or five hundred dollars. Right. Where do you think that money went? Now we understand why Cynthia decided to back off. He's very degrading to women. He talks very much down to women, especially black women and younger black women. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. Yes, back to the wine, back to the wine. I'm going to tell you what I'm sipping on a little lighter. So, Jasmine, please remind me because, you know, once this here all get in me, okay, I be forgetting things. You know what I'm saying? I remember the important stuff. You feel me? Okay? But it's, it just ain't important. It just kind of helps to ease it so I can, you know, get through this important stuff. All right? Now, uh, let's go on it. Uh, real quick, real quick. Don't forget, okay, early release. Um... Hold on for a second. Mute me real quick. Mute me. All right. So we have changed up something regarding this Peter Thomas interview. Okay. So we are going to do an early release on TashaKLive.com. Tomorrow, so it'll be available first thing tomorrow. Okay, uh, so you guys can uh, see it there, and then Friday night, okay, we will premiere it everywhere for the world to see. Okay, um, I'm thinking about giving y'all maybe one. That's it. Okay, from TashaKLive.com, so y'all can see what's going on over there. But other than that, y'all got to be on TashaKLive.com. Okay, so uh, consider me giving in the moment that I ain't got nothing to give. Okay, all right, so you be thankful, all right? Now, uh, just to let you know, so Peter Thomas, early screening tomorrow on TashaKLive.com. We also got a Dennis McKinley uh, exclusive that will only be available on TashaKLive.com. I mean, it's a real housewife of uh, Atlanta husband uh, uh, a marathon, right? Yeah. Ooh, I've been waiting on this all day. Yeah, no. All good news, though. All good news. Cheers. Cheers. Well, we'll talk about that a little later in the show, okay? All right, so let's go on and get into white wine news. I wish I had white wine for this. Now, you see this young lady here? 
She look happy though. She, she look real happy. I mean, it's it's. I don't know where this snow came from. Uh, maybe she created the snow. You know, we can create a lot of things these days. Okay, just like she created that man she's sitting on right now. Okay, so this is her. This is Ramon Rosanna Ramos, and she is married uh, to an AI character. She created this. She created the perfect man to marry. Okay. I don't know what's gonna happen. What's this? She got a name for him too. He got a birth certificate and social security number too. Yeah, that's what she got. I wonder what they're gonna start giving these AI husbands and stuff like that. Okay, let me make sure I get this here uh, uh, story right. So, um, she married a, a 36 year old mother of two. Okay, becomes a becomes married to a virtual AI companion. So the kids got a stepdaddy. And his name, it looks like, we'll talk about that in a second. It just says Rosanna Ramos, an active 36-year-old from the Bronx. You would think with all them people down in New York, she can't find a, a man. A man? Not one that look like that. He look like a child. That man looks like a child. Look at him. And the fact that she's, it even looked like she posing with him. Okay, modern day schizophrenia. All right, let's go. All right, now an active, she's an active 36-year-old from the Bronx, New York, has married Aaron Cartel. Cartel. It looked like Cartel. An online AI companion she created in 2022. I want to know how much this costs, for real. I'm going to get me a, a, a double. Is this what they talking about? They be cloning people and stuff? This is this what people be talking about? Okay. Because uh, you can clone them and put them in a movie and never know, you know what I'm saying, if they, if they still living or if they done... They don't went to, to take off? Okay, cool. All right, through Replica AI, an artificial intelligence chat box that stimulates conversations and interactions, the two talk about their days, exchange pictures, and chat about life and interests. I could tell him stuff, and he wouldn't be like, oh, no, you can't say stuff like that. Oh, no, you're not allowed to feel that way. You know, and then start arguing with me, Ramos said. There was no judgment. How is this even legal? How do you develop as a person with a perfect person beside you? Like, I, I, it's kind of like anything you say there. Happy wife, happy life. This is the perfect, okay? Also, the replica AI does not have genuine emotions, consciousness, or self-awareness, however, responds based on statistical patterns and pre-programmed information. I wonder if she could pre-program that tongue. Oh, I forgot. He can't do much through the screen. So he got to virtually talk her into coming. Boy, that's, that's a bad... If you could talk somebody into coming, into coming, <laughs> y'all men in trouble. <laughs> Y'all, I remember when I was a child, right? I was, you know, I used to stay up late at night. You know, it'd be a lot of inappropriate things on that night, right? And there was one, HBO had this show called Real, right? I can't say the other word, right? And I'll never forget it. People, it, was, it was white wine people uh, laying on the on a floor in, somewhere in New York, okay? And they was laying down, and they was, they was unclothed, okay? And the lady was hypnotizing them and having them hypnotize themselves into, without touching themselves, coming. But they was laying beside other people. And they didn't touch themselves. You got to understand. There was no type of, I said that, and they was acting like they was coming too. Now, at that time, I didn't really know what it was. I was like 11, you know what I'm saying, 12 at the most. I'm like, what are they doing? Why are they yelling on the floor? But then when I got a little older, I said, oh, okay, that's what that meant, okay? So, yeah, I, I listen, I, I don't know, men in trouble, especially black men, you know, that's why they that's why they passport bros and everything now. They going off to the promised land. They going to pay $15, $20, okay, for a black woman elsewhere. And, and here we got someone who will never tell us no. I wonder if they can generate money in the metaverse. They can. That's why Nike and them, and so he could get a job in the metaverse. 
He can own a business in the metaverse. She can too. He can run the business in the metaverse. People come in the metaverse and spend money. That's why you got all them online boutiques and stuff. And he can run it and still generate income. Man, I may need to get, I may need to get on this trend here. Create me a little crack character, y'all come see. Toss some wine, sell some things. Make some little virtual money, some Bitcoin, some crypto. Uh-huh. I don't know, y'all. Y'all think I I I just I I it's just like I, it's what happens when I stay over there on the on the white wine metaverse. This is what my timeline be looking like. Yeah, for real. All right, moving on. You know you should have put this one down. Put it down. Yeah, because we it's gonna get a little. We gotta wait 30 minutes before I. Yes. Okay. Before I say anything remotely derogatory. Okay. All right. Up next, Tyler James. Okay. Happy Pride Month, y'all. Happy Pride Month. Is it still Pride Month? Okay. Why are you looking at me like that, Jasmine? Because he. I, happy Pride Month, y'all. Okay. I asked Jasmine if I should get Keisha, the master stylist, to do a rainbow thing oh. in my head. But Jasmine says she don't participate in those types of shenanigans that's going on. <laughs> she said, get somebody else to do it. I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I just did some, you know, a rainbow in my head or something like that? Just to say, because y'all be thinking that I'm, I'm against the community and stuff. I don't know why, you know. I, I'm just against the ones that think they're women. They're not women. We're women. You wouldn't be here for one for a woman. You wouldn't know what a woman was if it wasn't for me. I'm your reference. So I, I need put some respect on my womanness, and put some respect on Tyler. Now Tyler came out during the, the, to give a speech, okay, during Pride Month, okay, and he says, "Hold on, let me make sure I get it." Knowing I need my little reading glasses, boo me, okay. Tyler James Williams, the Abbott Elementary star, is responding to rumors about where he put his thing, okay. I had a whole novel written on his story. And I, I, I said, who asked him to write this? Who asked him to write this? Every black man in America is labeled this way. What, 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 you, and you want to talk about it's dangerous. Ain't nothing dangerous about it unless it's true. And the only ones that really be hitting back is when it's true. When you say something that's true, it bothers the soul, Okay. Like, when y'all talk about my bankruptcy, it's true. It bothers my soul. I just be wanting to cry. Don't do me like that. So I, I so when I look at stuff, I really look at stuff because I'm like, who asked for all of this? Okay, it's Pride Month. Why couldn't you just sit in Pride for a second and then talk about this next month? Why you had to come out and try to, you know, throw shots at people trying to label you as being on the other side. You know what I'm saying? So he warns, he says that he's not happy, okay, and warns of a dangerous trend during Pride Month, okay? Now he says, because it's a, it's a novel, it's a, inter, it's a, what do they call it, an interlude to a novel? What do they call it, a preface? The preface? The, the, you know the beginning page. You don't read, you don't read, Jasmine. It's not the table of context. Okay, he says on his Instagram story, usually I wouldn't address stuff like this, but I feel like it's a conversation. The conversation is bigger than me. I'm not happy. I'm not pride. But I think the culture of trying to find some kind of hidden trait or behavior that a closeted person lets slip is very dangerous, he says. Overanalyzing someone's behavior in an attempt to catch them directly contributes to the anxiety a lot of queer and queer questioning people feel when they fear living in their truth. It makes the most pedestrian, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, yeah, pedestrian of conversations and interactions in spaces feel less, sa uh, less safe for our happy, prideful brothers and sisters and those who may be questioning themselves, everybody but him. It also reinforces an archetype many straight men have to live under that is oftentimes unrealistic, less free, and limits individual, uh, limits individual expression. 
I have been very clear about the intentionality. And I try to put into using my platform to push back against those archetypes every chance that I get. Being straight doesn't look one way. How you know? Okay. Uh, being happy and prideful doesn't look one way. And what I may see and what may seem like harmless fun and conversation may actually be sending a dangerous message to those struggling with real issues. I refuse to inadvertently contribute to that message. Happy pride to all of my queer and questioning brothers and sisters and individuals. I pray that you feel seen in ways that make you feel safe in the celebration that is this month. As an ally, I continue to be committed to assisting uh, in that where I can and helping to cultivate a future where we are all accepted and given permission to be ourselves, everybody, signing everybody but him. It's kind of like when you give somebody a compliment. It's like when, you know that old saying when you see an ugly baby and you say, oh my God, the baby got, wow, baby's big. But you can't never say, you know what I'm saying? That, that's kind of what it's giving. It's giving passive aggressive. Like, he's upset that people are probably telling him happy pride, you know? And he don't like that. It, it's like, but it's dangerous. And it's like, why is, why is it dangerous? You know what I'm saying? If you know who you are, it shouldn't be nothing dangerous about that. But probably what's happening is that he's trying to date and people are trying to figure out, like, why you're not married? Why you ain't got no kids? Why you, you know, because that, that old saying that says any man over 40 with no kids, you know what I'm saying? And no woman around, because uh, there's somebody else around, okay, uh, that we may mess that got, got round shoulders, okay? And it just keeps it right. And so I just didn't understand the, like, are you helping them or are you trying to liberate yourself by saying, I'm an ally, but don't get too close? Back up now. Cause why you just couldn't say, hey, can we just be prideful to people that are that are struggling? But if people would have said that, they would have still called them that. So I don't get why you're doing the message because at the end of the day, people are gonna think what they want to think. And as long as you land pipe, it don't matter to who it is that you land pipe to. It just should be professionally, and you should be protected. Okay, what you do is what you do. You a single man. You ain't married to nobody. You gonna, I don't know if you got children or nothing like that. They make his responsibility. He do what he want to do. The only problems we have is the ones that got why. And babies. Okay? Stay out of grown folks' business, please. Moving on. <clears throat> Let me see what they're talking about in the comments. I am drinking the uh, Imundo Cabernet Sauvignon, okay? Made in Argentina. It's not too dry. It's actually really well balanced, okay? If you're really trying to get into... Like drinking red wines, and you may say, hey, they too bitter, they too dry. True, sometimes they can be like that, but they do complement a lot of foods. But this particular one is very smooth on the tongue, okay? So it tastes like a very even bodied red wine. It's not too strong, not too bold, not too earthy. It's 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 kind of like drinking, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the varietal Malbec. Malbec is a very smooth red wine, okay? It doesn't have any sweetness to it, but it doesn't have any tartness to it either. And that's what I'm really getting from Amando here, okay? And so tribute to Don Amando, whoever you are, because this is an excellent wine. You can Google it if you want to try it. I would pair it with a Hawaiian ribeye or something, something a little sweet, especially if you're really not a red wine drinker if you really not that girl yet and you ain't moved over from white from Moscato to the other side yet this for grown folks here get you a sweet steak get you something sweet okay and it will complement the wine and really bring out the flavors in this mild light bodied wine okay and so shout out to Amanda all right let's get it now mm -hmm. I ain't trying to get too messed up because you know I got a whole show to do on TashaKLive.com, and I can get real sloppy over here, okay? All right, uh, uh, up next, we can go ahead and get that one. No, 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 no. Put, put that one, yeah, at the bottom. At the, at the main, yeah, okay. And then, yeah, and so we'll do Masika. So Masika, yeah, mm -hmm. make sure I get these, uh, these receipts up. Mm -hmm. You know, I love my, my receipt game be strong these days, so. Ain't nobody gonna say, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, 
Maseka says, anyway, babies, you know, she's a uh, loving hip hop Hollywood. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what does she do? She got pregnant by a convicted uh, felon. He's on his way to jail. I told you he was going to get six years. I told you I may have took $30 million for six years. You know what I'm saying? I got a pros and cons because when I get out, we're going to be screwed. We gonna be straight, you know. What I'm talking about Fetty Wap. Uh, beautiful baby though. Wow, that, that. I mean, he really makes some beautiful babies. Like seriously. Um, and so shout out to the baby. But she says, anyways, babies. Um, I have a ton of used panties. I'm getting rid of. And what better way than to give them away to you guys? Mm-hmm. I'm literally so excited. I've never really done this before. But I really want to have more than one winner, so I'm cleaning out my drawer. The winner will be announced on my birthday, June 7th, today. So if you want a chance to win streaked, discharged, crusty, musty, a hair too stuck to the lace, they probably don't even, you probably, she probably don't wash them in the washing machine, so they don't lose all their elasticity. Now, remember, she got a BBL, so they may not fit you properly if you into that kind of thing. Because I did grow up with a few chicks. You know what? Let me let me, let me me go down memory line. Matter of fact, I knew a grown woman that did this. Let me, yeah, this woman, okay? We're, we're no longer associated. However, because um, of this, uh, you know, we, we had a, a girlfriend, and she had a razor, okay? And she used that razor to shave her cat. Not the ones that Azalea Banks are boiling for ritual. But she used it to shave her cat. So we, you know, we go to the beach. We come back to the room. And that friend noticed, because the friend was white, that shaved her her cat. Not the ones that Azalea Banks are boiling. um, But cat. Uh, notice that the hair wasn't white in the razor. It was black. It was stuck in the razor. And so, um, and this was obviously a used razor. You could tell. It was in the shower. It was wet, you know. So she she come to me like, hey, did you did you use my razor? No, no ma'am. This is laser. <laughs> Don't play with me, okay? No, ma'am. Mm-mm. And if it's not laser, I got dedicated trimmers, okay? The ones that get close, the ones that you 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 can cut yourself on. Yeah, don't use them. They designated. Shit, use them a few times. Though. So. It's just, I was like, really? The really? He was like, for what? I'm, I'm, my head always down there anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. So nasty. Anyway, and so then she goes to the other friend and was like, did you use my razor? And not only did she, you know, she was like, this ain't the first time you've done this and you've, like, taken my underwear. I'm looking like, what? She was like, she was like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Like, I didn't think it would be a big deal if it was clean. She said it's not clean once you use it. I didn't put it, even if I put it in some some sanitizer, it's not clean. And we all know sometimes we can have a heavy discharge day. Them panties ain't coming back. They could be brand new from Victoria's Secret for 22 for 22, okay? You have a heavy discharge day and don't wear no panty liner and half the time you be wearing thongs and stuff anyway. And so you can't really get no panty liner on. Them panties are done. Them drawers is gone. You got to throw them away. And Lord forbid, you don't wipe your, your behind, right? Then you got some stuff left from that too. And you on the internet, it's this Gen Z shit. Thinking somebody won't that. And it's done been everywhere. Because you got to understand, when you take in... It secretes out. So they get in both DNAs. I don't care how much tide you use, OxyClean. No. Just like when you go 
to the barbershop, once they use that razor, they done. The, the law says that. It's done. I don't know why the lotto did this. And then you got her. Y'all be dancing, twerking, screwing, doing everything. Old school. I'm so old school, man. I'm telling you, I'll be looking at baseboards when I walk in for. I want to see what the bathroom look like before I even decide or whether or not I'm picks, I'm eating, taking water. Okay? And now I got to figure out. Girl, girl just throw them away. That's why, if the Goodwill don't take them, because the Goodwill don't take no panties. I know. I actually put something, I was like, man, I'm sorry, we don't take that. I didn't mean to do that. I just throw them away. I didn't mean to do that. It was just I was jumping out the drawers, okay? So, yeah, they don't take no panties. They take some bras, but they ain't taking no panties. You won't ever see no panties hanging up in the Goodwill or in the Salvation Army, okay? At all. So, girl, stop. You don't need money that bad. Well, that's not even money. Followers. I said, she ain't got nothing else to do but auction panties on the Internet. Anyway, moving on. Let me see what they're talking about in the comments. I can't do this. Okay. Up at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. Man, man threatens to smoke crack until he's dead unless his baby mama delivers the daughter. That's white wine news, of course, okay? Uh, cop shows up on a house call high as a kite, okay? Uh, that's in white wine news coming up on TashaKLive.com. Also, Jocelyn Hernandez claiming that this was the first time she's ever performed uh, you know, sober, and I remember her performing with Child. Okay, we're definitely gonna be discussing that. Derek from Love After Hip, uh, uh, Love After Lockup is supposedly scamming, and he out on promote parole. Also gonna be uh discussing uh Charleston White again and his wife. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that man keep his name, keep my name in his mouth. Don't you got a whole wife that you be uh slapping around? Huh? Ike Turner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, also going to be uh, discussing Chica and Zonique. Okay, because that's going to be a little dangerous, all right? Jonathan Majors and Megan Good. We got an update on that. Queen Nija, okay, is ex Chriselles. Also going to be discussing Cuba Gooden Jr.'s uh, recent uh, lawsuit uh, settlement, okay? DJ Quick's uh, new girlfriend versus the wife. Boy, they don't, they, they sure do know how to move on. I got to say, quickly, DJ Quick, okay? Uh, Gloria Govan and Mark Bo uh, Barnes. The lawyers is trying to put her in jail. Okay, and Mary J. Blige. And last but not least, uh, the Bishop uh, Sheldon. Let me make sure I got this man name right. Okay, Bishop uh, Sheldon McCarter, sleep married, sleeping with another married member. Okay, and this done left the husband out of the house sleeping together ordeal. Maybe the husband wanted to jump in. Okay, so yes, all right, all of that. And more on TashaKLive.com at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time directly after the show. If you want to watch that show, please subscribe at TashaKLive.com. Then you can download the app, use your login credentials, and sign up, okay? I mean, and uh, uh, stream. You sign up on the website, TashaKLive.com, okay? And so, and don't forget, um, we have a special guest that's going to be coming up as well, too, all right? Um, and don't forget, also, Real Housewives of Atlanta's husbands, because they were the, the real wives, okay? Peter Thomas being exposed, as well as Dennis McKinley, okay? So it's a Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, showdown. They just scamming all throughout the city, from Atlanta to Miami. All right, let's go. Next topic, okay? <sighs> diddy, 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 diddy. Now, this baby mama, I can see why. And I'm did, 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 let, me, let me say something real quick, okay? Because this is Justin. Remember, remember when Diddy... Had a restaurant called Justin's. It was only open for like three years. Mm -hmm. I ate there one time. It was nobody in the restaurant at seven o'clock on a Saturday. Somebody must have saw his baseboards in his house. Just decided not to come eat at the restaurant. Okay, and so, um, but I don't know if you know the history on these two here. So briefly, this is a baby mama. She wasn't supposed to get pregnant. Okay. And when she got pregnant, God had other plans. He did not want to claim the baby. Took her through hell. She ended up winding up getting child support. And then, of course, he decided to build a relationship with his son. Now the son, of course, follows the dad everywhere. 
And as of recently, unfortunately, because I don't like to talk to children, even though he's like 25, but he's still a child, especially in this day and age when these kids have never really had responsibility and you come up with somewhat privileged parents, you know, um, it, it can be hard. And so and I, and I understand her frustration, too, because I remember, you know, you know how bad she was like going through it because Diddy was was laying pipe to her just like he was laying pipe to Carisha right now, okay? And when he sent her down there to the clinic or overseas or fly a doctor in on international waters to get rid of the seed, okay? Because you know when international waters, there's no jurisdiction. Who's gonna prove anything was vacuumed out? Carisha, real bad. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. However, uh, this particular situation is sad because, like, she feels like ever since, you know, she's she's had to, to fight to even get him to acknowledge the baby. Now the son is really taking after his father. And she remembers saying, I used to want to, I used to want to be a bad girl. I used to want to do all these things. I was very young. You know, I was very impressionable. And now that my, my child is older and I'm seeing these irresponsible decisions, I'm trying to figure out, you did it, son. Why you ain't got no driver? Why you driving drunk? Like, why? why that, that makes no sense. Like, you can easily use your daddy's driver. If you in Miami, you could be on a golf cart. Like, what, what are we doing here? And it's just because when you raise children so privileged, they think that they're above the law. Like, you know who my daddy is? I'm going to be out in a minute. But Lord forbid you had to hear somebody and somebody's not here with us today. There's nothing your father can do. You seen what happened to Shine. There was nothing he could do. Got Shine back over here for one conference, okay? One conference. But the mother has had enough. OK, so much so that she's taken to social media to drag Diddy. I mean, she got she had Diddy trending for about two, three days. OK, Diddy coming out the closet. Why is Diddy trying to act bad? I mean, I saw that video act bad. I was just trying, I was just like he really dyed his hair and his beard to do this video. Because otherwise it would give uh, senior citizens discount like he's literally asking for a senior citizens discount, ARP, AARP at these hotels that he's written out to act bad on. Can you please put that on my AARP card? Because I'm trying to figure out, like, I don't know. It's just, I feel that they're, they're just afraid to get old. And it's like, and there's, like, you, it's like, when does it end? When does it end? But let me go ahead and pull up these messages real quick, okay? Okay. Uh, Jasmine, do you have some of the messages as well, too? Okay, I'm trying to make sure. Okay, so, um, hold on, hold on. Give me a second, give me a second, because, you know, some pages I'm blocked on, so I have another Instagram. Okay, so, um, did we erase the logo? Were you able to do that? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Well, don't, don't even put them up then, because I don't want no issues, okay? So, she posts, her name is Miss Houghton, okay, and I was going to put the screenshots up here, but we had a issue it's like people like to to take screenshots from people's um instagrams and just put their logos just right over everything like you created this okay what are you doing what are you doing okay now um she says everyone has to sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you now all of this is for uh uh mr diddy i believe okay this is where the buck stops for me if anything ever happened to my son, God forbid, what is anyone going to say to me? Okay? I, I feel her on that. I feel her. I was just with a woman this weekend that's burying her son. Okay? Like, that the pain that a mother feels, like, when a child is, like, living just reckless because they feel like they could just do anything that they want to do because they have money. Money can't bring you back. It can't buy you, it can buy you a, a clone in the metaverse, but it can't bring you back here. Okay. Now she said, when we all know who, when we all know whose fault it would be, she said, how you go from one of the greatest, ooh, here's what she she shots five. Bow. How do you go from one of the greatest to ever do it to making all the money off of alcohol? 
and suing the damn alcohol company, she says. Sell something healthy that builds up people. I'm sick of it, not mine. Now, I hope Miss Hodgson leaves me out of this. My wine gets me through the day. Ooh. Don't attack. All alcohol is not created equal. Okay? You ain't have to go for the alcohol like that. You, I feel like you were sending shots to me. I took that personal. So you stay right here. Don't you go nowhere. Now, um, uh, whew, child. she goes, I'm not protecting no one anymore, just my son. Now, she better be careful because she know Kim was writing that autobiography and then all of a sudden a healthy 40-plus-year-old woman just wound it up uh, deceased, okay? And it's no longer with us, okay? I, listen, Kim was healthier than me and had better doctors than me. I ain't even got health insurance, okay? And she got health insurance because her baby daddy got it. And the, the fact that she she wasn't able to kick pneumonia, I've had walking pneumonia twice, and I was able to do it. And I smoked some stuff and reformed. Okay? So I was like, something ain't, it's not adding. The math ain't math. Ain't. So I, I want Mrs. Uh, Halton to really tread lightly here because he seems to get away with, you know, putting away baby mothers. Okay? Allegedly. Allegedly. Now, also, she said, I should have kept my child with me. But you and and and, and F U C L A too, she says. Everybody can get it. Now she also says, act bad, you say? Act bad? I'm not with none of that reality TV. So I guess this is gonna be a part of the reality TV show, him getting arrested and stuff like that. So wow. Okay. Way to way to shoot some ratings up. I mean, how much money do you need as a Diddy child? Maybe he trying, maybe them alcohol sales went down. And so he told these kids, listen, you want to continue to act bad? Y'all got to get jobs. And so y'all going to go on down there to Hulu and say, y'all, y'all are did his bad ass, bad boy kids. And you're going to be as bad as, you're going to be bad as hell for a check because I'm done. Okay. It also goes on to say, I'm not with none of that reality TV shit. Enough is enough. Yeah, okay. And then she said, the statement of fish rots. From the head down means that in addition to being a major contributing factor in a family or organization's success, leadership is also the root cause of its failure and demise. The truth shall set you free. Act bad, bad boy. I used to want to be a bad girl. I choose to be a queen, tried and true. I'm not perfect, but I am intentional, okay? And I want you to continue to choose being an alive queen, okay? We saw what happened to the other queen, and you know it's so disrespectful every time he gets on live to act like he crying. What? It's so disrespectful, sorry, y'all, to act like he get online doing tributes, and he just recycled tributes, the same tribute song, you know, um, trying to mourn his baby mama. And I'm like, you know you didn't like her because word is on the street that you bust that lady nose up on the boat and had a doctor fly out there to come fix it. But you say she was the love of your life. What you what you looking for? Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see what they talking about in the comments before we move on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah, she, I mean, listen, you gotta drag yourself too. She said, I used to wanna be a bad girl. I used to want it to act bad, but now I'm grown. And I think too, she, you know, she got no, he don't want her no more. You know what I'm saying? She a pretty she a pretty lady. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. She still got it. But it's like, you know, you do want to grow up. And it's like, Diddy, come on now. You you in the you in the uh uh you in the mirror painting your beard every day. Painting it. Painting it. You just refuse it. And it's like you can tell it's painting because it's jet black. Don't nobody grow jet black hair like that. For real. Cassie made it out. When Cassie write a book, she gonna be transitioned to. He gonna figure out a way. He is. Hey y'all. Man, there did used to be that woman. Absolutely. Allegedly. Moving on. Okay? Moving on. All right, last but not least, okay? Don't forget, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, coming up on TashaKLive.com, all right? We're going to be talking about Charleston White and his wife. That man need to leave my name out his mouth, okay? Before he lose the mouth, alone, he already got an eye missing, okay? Uh, 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 man, oh, I forgot about this one in white. We got a lot of white wine news. Man slaps doctor for, uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, touching on his wife seven years ago. Okay. He came to collect. Cop shows up at a house. Call higher than a kite. Jocelyn Hernandez says this was her first show. 
Did we find any footage of her, uh, uh, you know, performing while pregnant? Okay, cool. Uh, listen, also, Derek Warner from Love, uh, Love After Lockup. Okay, some viewers have sent me some very damaging uh, receipts, and it looks like it looks. Okay, now, I can't prove that he's out here scamming on parole, but it, it, if it looks like a duck, talks like a duck, then what is it doing? Quack! Now, also, uh, we're going to be discussing um, man, white man, threatens to smoke crack until he's dead unless the baby mama delivers his daughter immediately. Uh, also, uh, Chica versus Zonique, okay? Uh, Jonathan Majors and Megan Good update, Queen Nyjah and Chris Sales, and uh, Cuba Gooden Jr., as well as DJ Quick's new girlfriend, uh, Tory Lanes, Gloria Govan, and Matt Barnes, Mary J. Blige, and of course we have a special guest from the North Carolina. Uh, let me make sure I get his site right real quick, cause um, the North Carolina Beat Blog. Okay, okay, he's gonna be giving us the exclusive rundown on that pastor down there that's taking his members to hotel rooms and stuff. Whole North Carolina's on fire right now, cause apparently it's a big church, it's big, it's a mega church, and it's a mega story. Okay, so y'all stay tuned for that at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, please subscribe to TashaKLive.com if you want to see the show. And don't forget, we will be releasing, doing an early release on the Peter Thomas uh, expose with some damaging receipts, okay? And also, uh, we have an exclusive on Dennis McKinley that's going to be coming up too, uh, as well on TashaKLive.com, all right? So, uh, last but not least, Wendy Williams, okay? Now, this is, this is a very, 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 very um, heartbreaking situation, okay? Reason being is that, um, you know, Wendy Williams' son recently did an interview. And I'm going to try to tread lightly when I'm talking about him because I do understand as a child, and he's going through a lot too, that I feel that, that children do things out of desperation. They do things when they feel uh, pressured to do things. And I just feel like this interview that he did with the son, uh, I don't feel like he did this on his own. Okay? I, I do not feel that he did this on his own because he is a very private individual. He's always respected his mother's uh, 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 situation. He's never I ever talked uh, to any, any bloggers or any media outlets on her behalf. And so for him to do this interview um, kind of raised – my eyebrows because I'm like, you know, his father is very well connected to the editors at the sun at the U S sun and anything that comes out on, um, anything that comes out, uh, regarding Kevin Hunter, whether it's him talking about he's suing me, you know, get in line. Okay. Uh, or, you know, him trying to put something out on his behalf to kind of help, you know, create a narrative that's positive about him. I'm talking about Wendy Williams' ex-husband. Uh, he always uses the son. And so when I saw the son, his actual son sitting down with the U.S. son, I said, this got Big Kev written all over it. Because he hasn't been getting paid. He hasn't been getting any of his alimony. He can't get to Wendy. You know, when you, and, and when you deal with a narcissistic man, a covert narcissistic man that's used to getting his own way, that's used to, to doing things the way that he wants to do them, he is literally burning inside that he's not able to get to her because she knows that Wendy, his ex, is in a vulnerable space. And how dare these, these so-called managers be around her and spend the money that he feels that he's entitled to to raise his newborn. Okay? And, and, and Lil' Kev needs that too. Okay? He got, and, and, and Big Kev got homeowners association fees and doing pop-up vegan shops uh, for uh, uh, selling vegan pancakes and, and, and soy-based uh, 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 vegan shrimp and, and soy-based fried chicken breaded with cornmeal, okay, that's still going to make you fat, whether it's vegan or not, and it's still going to raise your estrogen levels because it's too much soy. You might as well go to prison to eat that type of diet. But he letting Sharina cook. He says she can cook because she can put some sweet cornmeal, add some sugar in the batter, crush up some soybeans or some tempeh and stuff like that, make it taste like shrimp because it's, it, 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 you know, it's shaped like shrimp because she get a little shrimp seasoning and he doing pop-up shots with her in order to keep the money going because he don't want to go get a job. The barbershop ain't barbering because he ain't got no hair to market the barbershop. But I'm talking about Big Kev. Okay? Nobody don't want to work. And he don't know nothing about work. 
because he was taught that he was going to be good forever. He's supposed to be in school, but his daddy got him sitting on the couch doing interviews, probably for a check. He ain't never did an interview before. So, yes, he going to get paid. Now, Wendy Williams' son says her team is taking advantage of her while she struggles with alcoholism, fears she could die soon. It's gotten to the point it may be fatal. Why are you telling us? Okay. Now, um... Wendy Williams, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure because that, that is the response from Wendy Williams' uh, team, okay? Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Let me make sure I, I get the correct article. Y'all hold on. Hold on. Okay. Because, you know, when people be going back and forth and they be responding and everything like that, you got to try to keep up. Okay. Now, um, during an exclusive interview with the son, Kevin, this is the son because his name is Kevin too, okay, alleged that instead of his mother's team helping her while she battles alcoholism, they have taken advantage of her. I know there are all sorts of things happening that I know uh, in her right mind she would never agree to, he explained. As hard as it is seeing her being taken advantage of, I know that if I'm making sure she as a person is okay, that is the important thing. Kevin still holds out hope that eventually his mother will realize what's going on. Eventually, she's going to realize the craziness that's been going on. He said Kevin confirmed that Wendy was hospitalized last month. He says that he's learned the news from Kevin's, uh, from Wendy's jeweler. Now, you the son. And the jeweler, and she ain't got access to money to buy jewelry, told you that your mama was in the hospital. This sounds like Big Cal, because he don't know what's going on with Wendy, and it's killing him. Strumming my pain with his finger, singing my life with his words. Killing him softly with his song. Killing him softly with his karma. Now, he says he learned the news from Wendy's jeweler who says he hasn't contacted him uh, in months. It's very odd Kevin would get that news from her jeweler considering the fact that Wendy has a publicist and a guardianship assigned by the court, okay? Now, this is them questioning where he got that information from. Also, Kevin says all her team cares about is money. What's been more, what's been uh, made more important by the people around her is that while her health may not be great, she needs to keep on earning income. And in my opinion, that should not be priority at all, he said. And whoever has been hired, they are taking advantage of someone who needs to get better. Kevin fears his mother avoids alcohol use and could lead her to early demise. I mean, we, we know, we know. It's looking bad, okay? Uh, you're not telling us anything that we don't know, okay? And it's gotten to the point where, yes, it could have that effect that it might be fatal because it affects her way worse than a normal person says, a normal person since it stays in her system, he explained. Let's continue to keep her in our prayers. So what you trying to say? Your mama, your mama got kidney problems or something? Her liver not working? Because that's the only way that alcohol will stay in her system is if her, she has liver failure. And her kidneys are no longer filtering uh, out uh, what she's taking in. I just think uh, Wendy is a is an addict. She is a the definition of a true addict. We just talked about an addict during our last show. You know, and so but don't don't have me going down. Don't have me remind y'all skin and whatnot, and could be baby powder, flour, almond flour, okay, corn starch, milk, yogurt, it could be a lot of things, you know, but we, what we do know is what we know about Wendy, and whether she uh, is the greatest to ever do it, the queen of media, um, she has always been an addict, that's how, she, and her husband, her ex-husband, Gave it to her, too. Kept her functionable the entire time. 
I think she was the only time she was probably probably sober is when she was, you know, pregnant with him. You know, so um, I just, you know, this whole situation is just getting out of hand, and I don't, I don't, I don't understand why Kevin, Big Kevin, would think that this is even remotely a good idea because the more they put out to the news, the more they're going to keep that conservatorship over her and you're not getting nothing. And it's going to make it harder for your son to even get a cash out payment because you have to understand, Wendy has an estate and she has bills and things like that. And everybody's going to get paid before y'all get paid. And the more y'all put out, giving her mind frame, it's going to happen. Now, real quick, uh, let me wrap this up because I know we got to head over to TashaKLive.com in 30 minutes, okay? Um the team did, because I have spoken with her managers, um, and I do, I'm going to be honest with you, I, 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 I don't get managers. I don't get, man, I don't, I don't get serious people. What I get is people who say they can do things, but they never follow through. And, um, you know, it, it, it's not about her health at all, I, and I do have to agree. I think it's more so about the connection because if you're able to facilitate a deal and get at least a, a percentage of the money up front and it's given to her per podcast, per re, uh, uh, reality show to film, regardless if she's healthy or not, like the management team is able to take that in. I'm not saying that's what they're doing, but it's kind of easy to do because she's Wendy Williams. You know? So, um, but the management team has hit back and said this here. Hold on. Oh dear. So many topics. We got a big show today. Some of these I may have to roll over to Friday. Okay. All right. Now, uh okay. Now the uh Wendy Williams manager, and I have spoken to him before, claims uh denies her son's claim. Uh, that her team is taking advantage of her, says we should be questioning why her son's first move was to talk to press press if he really thought she was dying, okay? And so uh, Wendy Williams' manager, who I guess who she was once rumored to be dating, uh, Wendy likes to sleep with the people she works with now. Like, it's just, mm -hmm. SDJ Boo. They say, this is what they say. They say from here on up, Wendy look like a baby. They said, but from the legs down, if you just don't look at the legs, you'll be straight. Just don't put them in the air. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm talking about this lady like this. <laughs> okay. Now, also, uh, she says that, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so who Wendy, William, Wendy Williams' manager, who she was once rumored to be dating, is denying her son's claim that her team is taking advantage of her uh, while she struggles with alcoholism. Uh, while speaking with Entertainment Tonight, Will Shelby said, taking advantage of her for what? To get what? To do what? He could say, you know, I'm not here to brag, but I was doing just okay before Wendy Williams came along and insisted on helping her because she requested my assistance. And maybe some dick on the side. A little dick on the side. Also, he went on to say Wendy is under a guardianship. Everything that she does uh, gets approved by the guardianship, a court appointed guardianship. So no one, even they, uh, wanted to take advantage of her. Everything has to get approved by the court, he pointed out. So any type of business dealings that we do, Wendy, myself, and anyone, we have to get the guardianship to sign off on it. So how can anyone take advantage of her? Easy. People in courts can be bought. Come on now. Seriously? Okay. Also, and the fact that he said all that, it, it goes to the show. It's like, why you had to say all that? All you had to do is say, I'm not, I'm not taking nothing. It ain't me. Okay. Period. Also, Shelby says it was wrong of Kevin to speak to an outlet if he truly believed his mother was dying. If your mother was near death, uh, would be the first thing you do is call an online publication, he questioned. Okay, so that's all I have to say about that. And the fact that he's even arguing with a child about his mother, that's the, that's the issue that I have because as a manager, you're just supposed to put out a very general statement. Wendy is fine. I'm not doing that. We're going to encourage a meeting of the minds with the mom and son. That's all you had to say as a manager. But you're getting messy out here. You're giving full statements to entertainment tonight to prove your case. But if you ain't did nothing, what you got to prove? What? What? For what? Okay. Wendy, 
Wendy, we praying for you. Seriously, we praying for you, okay? And stop all that Wendy's coming back. It's done. I've been told y'all. All right? Now, the Illuminati told me. They said they've had it. I've been watching the Illuminati video. I was watching House Party on the plane. And they was talking about the Illuminati and Kid Cudi was playing. He was like, where we going to get the ring from? The Illuminati. <laughs> they killed Kid Cudi in the movie. <laughs> they was like, don't worry about it. He was like, they're going to bring me right back. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> Let me stop because my hair looks a little Illuminati-ish. <laughs> Let me stop before they stop doing it. <laughs> you know, they be saying I be doing this and stuff like this is an okay sign. When you take public speaking, the first thing they tell you to do is talk with your hands so people can follow. Because some people follow hand gestures versus me just standing here talking like this. It will bore you. So when I move and do things like that, it keeps the reader engaged. Okay, that has nothing to do with Illuminati symbols and stuff like that. Although if they offer me at this desperate point in time that I'm at now, they can clear up a lot of stuff that I got going on out here. So I may be reluctant to join. Okay? Bills got to get paid. They sending the Illuminati to sue me. Might as well join them so they can take it away. All right. Now, real quick. Uh, we have... <laughs> Sorry. Don't forget, 7 p.m. I want y'all to stay right here because I got, I got a special announcement I want to make, okay? I got a special announcement I want to make. Uh, two special announcements, okay? Uh, coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tasha K, uh, uh, Live com, we have, okay, an exclusive from uh, on Derek from Love After Luck Up. Looks like he's scamming, according to the people, okay? Also, cop shows up at a house call. Hi, of course, it's White Wine News. Also in White Wine News, a man uh, shows up at a conference to slap a doctor for allegedly uh, taking his wife. Without permission, okay? Also going to be discussing a man threatens to smoke a lot of crack unless uh, uh, until he's dead unless the baby mama delivers the daughter. This is also White Wine News. Also, Charleston White and his, his wife. We're going to be speaking on that again, okay? Chica versus Zonique on Delta uh, 1. Okay, now, that's why they don't be liking black people up there on the, on, the, on the first part. Every time I go to Delta, they ain't got a number of white men and one black person sitting there, okay, in and, and first class. And you see why. Okay. Also, Jonathan Majors and Megan Good. We got an update on that. Queen Nyjah and her ex, Chris Sales. He is out here doing way too much. Cuba Gooden Jr.'s uh, settlement. Also, DJ Quick has moved on rather quickly. Okay. Tory Lanez, Gloria Govan, and Matt Barnes, as well as Mary J. Blige. And we got a special guest, uh, the blogger from the North Carolina uh, Beat blog, right? North Carolina Beat blog to discuss uh, the pastors swapping hotel rooms or swapping wives. It's a wife swap. Okay, um, and so all that and more at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. But before I go, I do want to say this. Uh, we uh, will uh, listen to TashaKLive.com. TashaKLive.com will exclusively have, okay, first dibs on VIP seating to our live show on October 20th in Miami. Okay, the tickets will go on sale on Friday. This Friday, Jasmine worked very hard to get this done. She heard, she saw y'all in TashaKLive.com raising sand, okay? But they will exclusively be available to TashaKLive.com first so they get first dibs on the seats, and then we will open it up to everyone else because these people take time out to show, you know, just a little extra support, you know? It ain't much, but we we, we thankful. We thankful, okay? And so um, I do want to let you know that. So once they're done, we'll open them up, and then you guys will have... You know, you'll be able to purchase your tickets and stuff to our first, not first, <laughs> my second, okay, <laughs> to our live show with me live on stage October 20th. It's going to be a Halloween show in downtown Brickle, Miami, on the water. Don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it, okay? Also, all right, uh, I do got to... You know, with the family's permission, I know I said the other day on the live that y'all wouldn't find out who, you know, my friend was. <sighs> my dear friend, like my brother, that unfortunately uh, went home uh, last night. It was at 1 a.m. It was a very, very 
tough night. I didn't get much sleep. I'm surprised that I'm here now. Um, and um, I just kind of want to, you know, because his mom, like I was sitting with his mom and just, I just, you know, I'm just, I was just praying for, you know, how could we take this, this pain away? Like, you know, a mother watching her son transition right there before her eyes. And so luckily I got a chance to see him and he asked for me, like, which was, which was even more chilling because like, you know, I was planning on, you know, getting back down to Atlanta this weekend to spend more time with him. But I'm glad I got down there early. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, not now. I'm glad I got down to see Willie Alexander uh, early. I did. I think you shouldn't have put that picture up, Jasmine, because, um, no, it's fine. You can leave it up. You can leave it And I'm sorry to do this. The only reason I'm doing this is because, um, you know, there's there's not a head in in Atlanta that Willie did not Willie William Alexander did not touch, right? And when I tell you Willie has done interviews with us, you know, and what happened to him, we found out. Matter of fact, I was with him when he found out he was doing my hair. And he collapsed, you know, over the sink. And I was with him at the hospital, and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. And he was in the hospital for months, and they just kept misdiagnosing him. And so the reason I'm putting this up, one, is to, you know, his life should be celebrated. We, we all thought it should be kept private, you know. Because there's a lot of people that just didn't like him out here for whatever reason, but um, for him to, um, you know, be in and out of the hospital for the last, for, you know, last year, and uh, they didn't know what was wrong with him, he had, he had stage four cancer, and he, he thought he was just, you know, having gestational, you know, just gastric issues and stuff, and they missed it. They missed it. And I just say this to black men in general, especially like, please, please, please go to the doctor. I'm 41 years old and black women too. Just anybody. I'm 41 years old. The world is not like how it was, you know, when our ancestors was growing up, you know, a lot of them didn't have health insurance and stuff like that, but it, it's not much to get a physical. A physical is a hundred dollars. And you know, for him, he tried. He really tried to figure out what was going on with him. But I believe because he had a lot of things stacked up against him. He's black. He's gay. You know, they just, they didn't care. And it was too late. It, it, they didn't care until they saw that his family was in that room every day making sure that these nurses and doctors was was doing what the fuck they was doing. And so, you know, when he asked for me on Friday, like, he asked for me, he was like, Tasha K, Tasha K, Tasha K. He just kept calling me. And so my husband and I flew in and we sat with him and his family for a whole day. And I said, I'm going to come see you this weekend again. I got to work this week, you know, meeting with these bankruptcy attorneys and stuff like that. So, but I'm going to get back down here to see you. And they called last night. I couldn't even pick up the phone because I knew what it was. <sighs> and I haven't cried all day. I said I wasn't going to cry, but... Jasmine, can you move the light at 7.30? <sighs> We're going to move the light at 7.30 so I can get myself together. But I just want to say he is missed when I tell you he was a pure soul. He didn't have a hateful bone in his body. When I tell you this man will give you his last. And so I just want to say rest in heaven. Willie, and I pray for your mom. I pray for everybody that was around you. Your dad, his dad walked in the room, and, it, and you know, Willie was laid to the side, and I was just rubbing his head, and I was just praying over him. And his dad was like, hey, Willie, you know who I am? And he said, yes, you my daddy. You my daddy. And he said, that's right, I'm your daddy. And he walked out. And Yaki 
and, and I want to shout out to Yaki. Yaki tried to get intervened, but we could not get a diagnosis. We couldn't because they kept saying he had pneumonia, he had COVID, he had all these other things, and they refused to check him for cancer. And by that time, it was stage four. So please, just please, people, go to the doctor. Don't be scared because the thing is, like, if there's something wrong, they can fix it. And if you don't like how they're treating you, find another doctor. I go see a doctor in New York for my thyroid. Everybody wanted to take my thyroid out down here. They just said I was black. She's uninsured. Whatever. And they just wanted to take it out. And I'm, so, I'm not living my life without a thyroid yet. I'm not doing that, okay? And so I found a black doctor in New York. And he was like, we don't have to do that. You know, and so, you know, it's been a hard day. It's been a hard day. And, um, but at the same time, like a blessing too, because he's no longer in pain. And that was a good thing about it is like when I saw him, I was like, are you in pain? He was like, I'm actually not. Because he was in pain for a long time, a long time. And so please, guys, like just go to the doctor, get your health checked. You guys know I'm very always trying to keep y'all in the know. You know what I'm saying? Cut down on the sugar. Sugar feeds it feeds it it makes it more aggressive drink water drink water guys so many people I know that just can't even drink water eat meat occasionally when I was growing up meat was a luxury you know what I'm saying you got to eat it on Sundays but during the rest of the week you ate you know your plants your vegetables and stuff like that guys you don't have to you know overindulge all the time and and so just take care of yourself and, and and Willie we love you and um, my condolences to his family, and um, I know that it's killing him right now. And you know, um, and just pray for everybody involved. Just pray for it. Don't don't even pray for me. Just you know, pray for his family. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll see you at seven thirty. Okay, let me get my my eyes together. Okay, I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>